<laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to answer the second part of Ryan Goss's question. He asked me, uh, he did a request. He asked, how do I find bargains on eBay? You know, something to the effect of what kind of searches I do. You know, how do I look for bargains when it comes to knives, right? There are so many different things that I do, but let's start off with eBay. On eBay, what I like to do is I like to do several different types of searches looking for the same item. For example, if I'm going to look for a knife lot, I might do a search that says knife lot, or I might do a search that says knife bundle, or I might do a search that says use knife bundle, or miscellaneous knife tool lot, or miscellaneous drawer knife, or junk drawer knife, as long as it has the word knife in it, and just to see what pops up, right? That's one of the things I do. And I like to sometimes misspell words. Instead of a knife lot, maybe I'll look for a new lot. Or uh, maybe instead of uh, a sunfish knife, I'll look for a suffish knife. You know, I like to play with the words, play with the spelling, and you'd be surprised. Sometimes you'll get a listing that'll pop up with that misspelling, with that misspelled word that otherwise you would have never seen if you had not misspelled the word. I have had some incredible, incredible deals like that, okay? Like, say, for example, I'm looking for a sunfish knife. Well, I could enter sunfish knife, or I can spell out sun, fish, and then knife, or I can look up elephant toe knife, or I can look up just toe knife. But if you look up toe knife, beware. You're going to get some nasty looking feet and uh, some little tiny scalpels that they use to cut off excess skin. <laughs> but you will also find some elephant toe knives that you probably won't see if you just search for sunfish. Elephant knife large equal end knife a lot of times people don't know what to call an elephant knife so they call it a large equal end knife right or they'll call it a large two blade knife or just use vintage knife pocket axe knife pocket axe is another word for these sunfish elephant tool knives i like to play around with the words play around with the spellings and see what what i come up with and oftentimes it'll be the same items right but then there will be about one two three four five different items that were not there the first time i searched you know, the other thing I do is uh, when I'm looking at a knife lot on eBay, whether I look for a knife bundle, a knife lot, a group of knives, or however I want to search, I always like to scroll through all the pictures. Because let's say, for example, that uh, there's a knife lot, but they'll show you the knife lot is kind of big. So in the first picture, they only show you about five of the knives, and it's a 10 knife lot. Well, if it's, they say 10 in the title and they're only showing me five, I know there's more pictures. So I scroll, right? And then oftentimes the nicer knives are not in the main picture. Inexperienced eBay sellers do not put the nicer stuff on the first picture sometimes. And sometimes inexperienced eBay sellers will not take really nice detailed pictures. So one of the other things I do is I zoom. Like for this, for example, this was in there in a knife lot and the picture was real far away. So I decided to zoom in. And when I zoomed in, I thought, well, you know what? This looks like one of those kid knives, right? And I zoomed in and I could kind of make in, make out the word Utica in there from far away. So I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have a Utica uh, kit knife as an equal end knife, even though I know I don't have the other pieces, right? So you got to really zoom in. You got to really look. You can't just take it on face value. Scroll through all the pictures, especially if you're looking through a knife lot. You want to zoom in because you might find something buried in there. Okay, you might find gold buried in there that you previously did not see just by looking at the first picture and just by looking at it from far away, right? Where do I look for bargains, guys? You know, where, where do I look for bargains? Well, eBay, of course. I look for eBay. Uh, I have found so many awesome bargains on eBay. This one right here was an eBay. This one right here, guys, this is an AG Russell. This is an AG Russell. Uh, my car to handle. I am going to show you this bad boy in more detail on another day. But look at this beautiful knife, guys. I mean, come on. I got a great deal on this knife. You know why? Because I made an offer. Sometimes the seller is asking for a certain amount, but they have it on best offer format. If you don't make an offer, you are just missing out. Never take it at the seller's first asking price. Always make an offer, okay? And then make the offer a little lower than you'd like because guess what? You have to try and meet somewhere in the middle. And that's what I do. And that's what a lot of times wins me some of the nicest looking knives. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, we're going to close this bad boy because this is not the video of this knife. I'm just using this as an example. I go to pawn shops a lot of times. I go to pawn shops so often, and I've shown you knives I've found at pawn shops. Uh, like a, a while back, I did a post 
and there was that case knife that I got for eight dollars no lie they were selling it as a cased with a t knife and uh, I kid you not as soon as I bought that knife like this big Harley biker came in and then after that this cowboy guy came in and if I had not bought that case 6318 bone handle stockman somebody would have picked that up right behind me so as soon as I saw it I like to see that one I'll take it I'll take it just like that I say I'll take it you have to get those words out quick at a pawn shop because once you do that the seller knows you're gonna buy it if not somebody's gonna go right in front of you and say I want to buy that and then they will literally buy it from under your nose that has happened to me before. You don't want that to happen to you. Guys, flea markets. Oh my gosh. You, if you've seen my videos, you know I've shown you so many knives from flea markets. Great deals that I found in flea markets, guys. But, you know, back to eBay, you know, that's how I got this one. This is one of my favorite knives that I plan on never parting with this knife. And this knife right here, I got for $80, guys. This is a Shatton Morgan Wildcat Driller. You tell me when you found one for less than 80 um, you know, uh, they're usually way over a hundred, you know, 80 is probably half what this thing is probably worth, you know, and, uh, it's just a gorgeous knife and I use it very often. As you can tell by the patina that it's getting right there, I do use it quite often. Um, I like it so much, right? But you gotta, you gotta make an offer. You gotta make an offer. Uh, antique stores. I haven't done a video on this one yet, but I will be doing one very soon in a couple of weeks. Um, this is, uh, a jackknife. I think it's from the 1930s. Um, I forgot. I think this is a A.W. Wadsworth or I think it might be an A.W. Wadsworth. Can't see it right now. Have to zoom in. But uh, but I'm going to do a video on this. Guess how much I paid for this knife, guys. Let's see if we can see the name right there. Yeah, I think it's an A.W. Wadsworth. Uh, I paid $5 for this. I paid $5 for this at an antique store. Um, it still has the bail. It's really light. I like it a lot. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you that these bargains are out there. You just have to go look for them. Guys, hardware stores. Sometimes at a hardware store, they have a knife display. Uh, I know that Pete, Jersey Knife Guy, he has a hardware store, or I think he has a farmer uh, tractor supply that he goes to, and he buys his knives there. Sometimes those knives go on sale, guys. Or sometimes you'll see brands there that you don't typically see. Garage sales. Oh, I've gotten so lucky in garage sales. I can't even begin to tell you how lucky I've gotten in garage sales in the past. I have done some major scores in garage sales. And one of the nice things about garage sales is if they're trying to sell it, that means they want to get rid of the stuff, right? So they're ready to negotiate. Walmart, guys. Wally Mart. I know. I, I can't remember who it was. I think it might have been uh, uh, these knives. Uh, or uh, I think it might have been these knives. I'm not sure. Uh, one of my YouTube friends made a video on this one right here. Uh, this is a SOG and uh, this is an Aegis FL and I think they said it might have been Big Red EDC now that I think about it I think they said they paid uh, $10 for it well this is a Walmart clearance there you see it used to be $19.97 I got it for $12 I still paid more than they did but uh, you got to be on the lookout for this look they knocked it down to $15 nobody bought it $19, $15, $12 then I saw it I bought it, 12 bucks. haven't even used it yet because I want to go ahead and show it to you guys. That's another upcoming video I got uh, coming up to show you guys. You know, I haven't even uh, opened this thing yet. I just want to go ahead and show you that these things are out there, right? They're out there and they're ready for you to score. You know, all you have to do is you have to go detect them. You have to go hunt for them. You have to go out there and you have to find these bargains because they are out there. Um, so Ryan Goss, I hope that this totally, you know, uh, answered your question. These are some of the tips that I have. I hope you can take some of these tidbits uh, that I've given you in this video and the previous quickie video that I did. This one is turning out not to be a quickie video. Uh, just to give you an idea of how I look for knives, right? And guess what? You can find them, Ryan. The deals are there. You just have to go look. And looking is like 90% of the fun. All right, guys, this has been another episode of The Knife Detector. Y'all take care, my friends.